Our children are watching and learning about politics in our country. They deserve a better display of responsibility and respect. While they like to blame my husband for his behavior, the media's pro promotion of divisive language and attacks has led to open disdain and hostility towards voters like you and me. Deplorables, they called us. <laughs> People expressing their right to free speech, including our youth, have been harassed for wearing Trump clothing. Because of acts of intolerance and even violence, honest and hardworking Americans are sometimes afraid to put Trump signs in their yards. Members of our White House staff have been thrown out of restaurants just for serving their country. Even big tech companies are now politically censoring us. All these from the supposedly tolerant left. But like my husband, we cannot and will not give up. And while some journalists who have now become a political tool of the career politicians who choose to focus on the negative, we have chosen to focus on the American people and a brighter future. When the media and Democrats were focusing on overturning the 2016 election, Donald Trump was bringing jobs back to the American people passing record-setting tax cuts and achieving energy independence. He was launching the Space Force, destroying global terrorists and securing our borders. This is a president who is here with one purpose, to serve you. <laughs> Donald loves this country and sees potential in everyone he meets, no matter their gender, race, religion, or sexual orientation. Donald loves helping people and will continue to fight for you every single day for four more years. Yeah. On Tuesday, I'm asking that you continue to put your trust in our president. Yeah. We had a three and a half years of winning. Let's have another four. Thank you, God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless our beautiful nation.